Eric Bledsoe welcome to today's NBA, where a single tweet can change the fortune of an entire organization and the hopes and dreams of thousands of fans that come along with it. I don't want to be here, Eric Bledsoe at Apple 2 October 22, 2017 The Milwaukee Bucks have acquired Eric Bledsoe for basically chump change from the Phoenix Suns in what seems to be a gigantic leap on the right path towards being considered serious title contenders. The seven-year veteran point guard put up a solid 13 points, seven assists and four rebounds debut against the San Antonio Spurs on the road, snapping a four-game losing streak for the Bucks. Could the Bucks be on their way to the top seed in the Eastern Conference with their new addition? Let's look at it this way Bledsoe by the numbers last season Eric Bledsoe was with the Suns last season the former Phoenix Suns star averaged 21.1 points, 6.3 assists and 4.3 rebounds per game last season with a per-player efficiency rating of 20.5 which could be considered borderline all-star caliber numbers for the Eastern Conference, similar to the likes of Kyrie Irving, Kyle Lowry and Kemba Walker. The last Bucks point guard to post similar numbers was Brandon Jennings with 17 points, 5.7 assists and 3.4 rebounds, so yeah I'm taking this as a win for the Bucks. A secondary ball handler for most Brew City fans, you cannot spell Bucks without a capital G. Giannis Antetokounmpo is on a meteoric rise, putting up MVP numbers that the NBA has never seen the likes of, ever. But no matter what, the Greek freak cannot do it alone. The Bucks are awful and I mean plain trash without Giannis on the floor dictating the flow of the offense. Bledsoe provides an added depth to put the ball down and attack the lane at a high caliber. He does also shoot the ball, a capable 37% three-point shooter on the catch-and-shoot. Expect plays like this in the future compatibility issues and the flip side, the biggest question is whether Giannis can share the ball with his new teammate. With both players having high usage rates 34.6 and 27.9% respectively and Gian is still not the finished product as a jump shooter, he needs the ball in his hands and floor spacing could become a major problem. However, it's worth keeping in mind that Bledsoe has played with other ball-dominating teammates before and has done just fine. He was with Goran Dragic and Devin Booker with the Suns, also Chris Paul with the LA Clippers. It was clear Bucks desperately needed more help for Giannis if they were to stay relevant in the East. Bledsoe fills the gap in big way, CF Gardner at CF underscore Gardner November 7, 2017 The Bucks play the LA Lakers next at home, definitely a winnable fixture.